Hello, my name's Josh. You may recognise me from such Kiwi classics as the Cash Converters ad, Pulp Comedy, and that show on the other channel that I'm not allowed to talk about. But hey, why don't you come closer and follow me as we take a peep at my world. That's not it, by the way. That's just a really big photo of a sunset. My name is Josh Thompson. I'm an actor, comedian, and writer, and editor, and the director. And sometimes I paint stuff like houses. Not paintings of houses. I paint the house. My mother is Tongan and she moved to Timaru to be with my dad. I'm very proud to be Tongan and uh, do what I can to represent. I'm Tongan. Tongan? Yeah. Don't you salmon? Yeah, I don't you salmon. Favourite phrases would be malo lei, fefe hake, saipe, malo, haukai, which means come and eat. That's pretty high up on the list. There wasn't a lot of other Tongans where I grew up, so I don't have a strong cultural connection, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't very many brown guys at my school or where I grew up. I've had various stuff yelled at me and said to me. I know there was a lot of anti maori sentiment, and I kind of thought, well, not Māori, but I kind of thought of myself from a very early age as an ambassador. If I can make everyone like me, then maybe they'll start liking brown people. So I guess that was a strong motivation, making people like me. And if they like me, then they've got no excuse to be racist. I'm gonna I've been knocking away in the industry for a long time. I did stand up for a while and then I auditioned for like a presenter on a TV series, which I don't even know if it made to air. And then I just started doing odd jobs around the office. And then I started working as an editor there because I started hanging out with the editors. Then I started writing. Oh, and then I started directing at TVNZ. Some really fun stuff with some very creative people. Yeah, and I think that's kind of how I started. Is that a girdle? Uh, the compression shorts, actually. I've never been the lead character in a film before. Um, and you've got to you've got to be on all the time, every day, every hour, every camera setup. Gary. Well, good luck. I mean, it's pretty basic, but we are in the islands. What I can promise you is an amazing fairy tale wedding. It was full on, but it was great, and I loved it. Hey, Gary. <laughs> what the hell? Dave Fane, on the other hand, uh, turned up and had about three days off straight away then did about 10 minutes of work and then had a week off and then did like a scene and then had another two days off. Really annoying. The Cook Islands were amazing. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place and it was so great to film on. There were all the different locations in the film. Beautiful white sandy beaches, rocky beaches, beautiful mountains, that township, Fales, trees. There's a pig. Uh, getting started in the industry, New Zealand's a small country, so don't be an egg. Like, be nice to everybody, be polite, because it's a small place. People are more likely to want to work with you if you're a nice person to be with. If you're not a nice person to be around, then people just don't want to be around you. So just don't be an egg. 